We were on a walk and this cat started following us. She sniffed him and then next thing you know, he just rolls over on his back. He's meowing at her and he's purring and loving all over her. And then next thing you know, he's best friends with my dog. The next morning, he was at the back door to the house. And he'll meow and meow until we came out with coconuts so they can go for a walk. Come on, Coconut. Okay, come on. Come on. I started thinking, okay, this is someone's pet cat. And my neighbors were like, oh no, he just kind of lives on all of our porches. Coconut, you see your friend? You see your friend? Go play. Go play. Everyone has their own name for him. We call him Bubba. Every single time. If we take Coconut for a walk, Bubba is right there. Look who joined us on our walk again. If we start walking and he's at a neighbor's house, he'll come straight to us. Well, hi, Bubba. If I'm home in the mornings and I take her in the backyard, if he can hear us, he'll jump the fence. She goes straight to him and they just start playing immediately. If she sees Bubba through the door, she gets so excited. She just wants to go out and see him so bad. The besties. Almost every single day, he's coming to play with here. Coconut. He is here. Good morning, Bubba. Oh my goodness. Come on, Coconut, it's your friend Bubba. He jumped over the fence. Hi, Bubs. What makes them so special to me is the patience that Bubba has with Coconut. Our cats didn't like her. She just wants to play so bad, but the cats are like, absolutely not. But Bubba is so kind with her. He will just get underneath the table. That way he can play with Coconut, but she can't get to him. She'll follow his lead. It's kind of like he's a big brother. I think they were both looking for some love and companionship, and I'm really happy they found it in each other. I hope that bond continues. I don't want to bring him inside if my cats are just going to be mean. But my hope is that one day he can come inside and really join the family.